Hey guys, I'm Nikki Dinky. Welcome to my kitchen. So today we're gonna make some cheese ravioli. Now if you've seen my episode on fresh pasta, that's kind of step one, and now we're going to fill that pasta. But if you don't want to use this filling for ravioli, that's fine. You can use it in so many things. You can use it in some stuffed shells, in manicotti, you can put it as a baked tzatziki, or as your filling for lasagna. I mean, so many uses for this filling. It's really delicious, it's really simple, and it's a great base that you can really experiment on. So stick with me, we're gonna make some cheese ravioli. So of course, our most very, very important ingredient is all of our cheese. And you know I love my cheese, it's a real problem. So we are going to start with some ricotta cheese. Now ricotta is a pretty traditional thing in you know a ravioli or even like a stuffed shell. But I don't like when people just use all ricotta. I mean, this just really doesn't have a lot of flavor. So we're gonna add some cheeses on top of that to really give it some punch. So I'm gonna add in some Gruyere and some good Parmesan cheese. That's gonna really give us that, that flavor and the Gruyere is still gonna give us a little bit of meltiness in that kind of cheese too. Also to help out with some meltiness, we're gonna put in some Fontina. You could easily substitute this for mozzarella. We're just looking for another mild cheese to kind of give us a little bit more meltiness to balance the texture of the ricotta. So I have to admit that I haven't actually measured out the amount in this recipe. I've done it a million times, but I never measured it. So I'm gonna measure it now and make sure I put the measurements on the bottom of the screen for you. But for right now, I'm just gonna start mixing and see where I get. there's not a ton of ricotta in here. You know, I'm trying to have ricotta be one of the cheeses, not the main cheese. So it's a little crumbly. The way that I'm gonna keep that together is I'm gonna add in an egg. That's gonna really be a binder, kind of like the ricotta. It's gonna keep everything nice and together. And if you're using this especially in something like stuffed shells, you definitely want some more binder in there so that they'll stay all nice and beautiful. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of salt. I'm gonna taste it because our Gruyere and our Parmesan are pretty salty. So I don't need a ton of salt, but just a little extra to make sure everything tastes great. So you can see it's come together a lot more because of that egg. And it did need just a little bit of salt, really opened everything up, so do add a little bit of salt in there. Now, I do wanna keep this pretty simple. This is a very base recipe. You know, this is what you can really build off of. You can then put in whatever herbs you want, whatever vegetables you want, whatever meats you want. This is a great, great base for all of those things. However, it still needs one more thing. It needs some garlic. I'm gonna add in four cloves of garlic, and I'm gonna grate it in so that it's really nice and incorporated and it's really finely grated or finely chopped would be really nice. But then I think we're all set to start filling our raviolis and oh, I am telling you, these are gonna be delicious. right? I know I love the ravioli mold. It really makes them come out uniform and very professional looking and it also really seals the edge which is nice. But you can totally do it free form. Just put down the dough, put the filling on, maybe put a little egg wash around the filling so that once you put the second sheet on you can really you know seal that in because we don't want our filling to come out when we boil them of course. Now when I do boil these up 
one of the ways you can tell they're done is sometimes I take off this little corner, just kind of test it out. Because depending on how thick or thin your fresh pasta is, might be a little bit of difference in cooking time. But you'll get there, they'll be delicious, I promise. And hey, I'll see you guys next time. Have fun in the kitchen.